बिहारे जय कुंज बिहारे श्रीरूपम नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौड़वाणे पिछाने निर्विशेष शनि पुष्टदेश ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा सो वी आर वेरी ऑनर्ड टुडे वी हैव विद अस हिज ग्रेस अतुल कृष्ण प्रभु अतुल कृष्ण प्रभु केम इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस व्हेन यू वाज अ टीनेजर इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वे बैक 40 इयर्स एगो एंड सिंस लास्ट 40 इयर्स ही हैज बीन वेरी एंथुजियास्टिकली सर्विंग शिल प्रभुपाद एंड हिज मिशन all over the world he did lot of sankirtan book distribution in australia and later on he received instruction to develop preaching in bangladesh so he was preaching in bangladesh and that's where he learned bengali uh, and now he can speak uh, fluently bengali and give wonderful classes in bengali also he is uh, after a wonderful preaching in <coughs> bangladesh later on he came to mayapur where he began Uh, very unique and very important service uh, service of developing education system in iskon he is the board of uh, he is member of board of education of iskon and he is actively involved in developing various courses like you know bhakti shastri bhakti vaibhav bhakti vedanta all such courses based on books of shila prabhupad he was also instrumental in developing courses like iskon disciple course so <coughs> uh now <coughs> he's actually revolutionized uh, this uh, teaching things in iskon he's also trainer of teachers uh, he conducts teachers training courses all over the world <coughs> and most importantly he is very much attached to shri prabhupada in his birth city calcutta and every year uh, he loves to come to calcutta for important occasions so every year he has been our uh, special guest and uh, also host on the stage for uh, uh, uh Rathyatra festivals and when we just inform him that Sri Sri Nitai Gauranga is going to appear here uh, though he was busy with different schedules he adjusted his schedules and came here to give his uh, wonderful association so let us welcome his grace Adul Krishna Prabhu by loudly chanting three times by seeing Adul Krishna Prabhu we can realize the mercy of Nitai Gauranga <laughs> how Nitai Gauranga has really transformed the world and even people who are uh, from western world they have been mesmerized and they have learned bengali and they are teaching the glories of mahapru so uh, enthusiastically and inspiring everybody to join lord mahapru's and shil prabhupad mission rigo om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ओम नमो भागवते वासुदेवाय नष्ट प्रायेशु वभद्रेशु नितम भागवत सेवाया भागवत युतम श्लोके भक्तिर भवति नोष्ट की 
Shira Prabhupada Ki. In the Kirtan this morning, I, it, it dawned on me, it dawned on me that as I was reading, I was reading, because I've been thinking last few days, you know, that I'm thinking that what is going to be unique about this temple? Because hmm? Prabhupada has ordered specifically, he said that uh, uh, unique, I, I can't read, uh, but maybe you know. Yeah. And then it, unique, Prabhupada says unique. Do something unique. Do something unique. Unique means incomparable. Unique means only one. So, so that this is something that we have to consider. What is the thing in Kolkata, Newtown, Iskon that is not anywhere else in Iskon? Hmm? That's what Prabhupada says. Do something unique. So that we have to think. What is that extraordinary thing? And this morning I was thinking, well, unique, uh, here we are. Nitai chand avat in the hai eche. Nitai chand. Nitai chand. It's the first discon in, in Kolkata. Nitananda Prabhu. Beautiful deity. Param Karuna Bahu Dui John. Param Karuna Bahu Dui John. Nitai Gau Chandra. Shab Avata Shah Shiromani Kebala Ananda Kanda. Bahudui John Nitai Gauchandra. There's many examples of how we can see the, 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 the combined mercy of Nitai Gaur, the combined mercy. Now, for example, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu suddenly accepted the sannyas order. Tobe more dehi, she dhorebe choron, e mote udharibo shakal bhubon. Shri Brindavan Dashtako, he explains the reason for Gauchandra accepting the sannyas order. Tobe more dehi, when they see me, dhorebe choron, they will fall down and hold my feet. E mote, in this way, udharibo, I will deliver shakal bhubon, the entire universe. I will deliver. <coughs> At that time, Egnin, Gopi Babe, Jagati Shar, Gopi Gopi, a Brindabon, Bali Nirantor. Mahabrabhu was sitting. He was chanting Gopi Gopi Gopi. Egnin, uh, Gopi Babe, Jagati Shar, the Supreme Lord of the universe, one day Gopi Bab. Gopi Bab. Hmm? You chant Hari, you're all chanting Hare Krishna, dancing. Actually, the the, the 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 result of this will is that you will get gopi bhav. <laughs> you you will get gopi bhav. That is the Hari Krishna uh, Mahamantra Jai Shabab, the very nature of Hari Krishna Mahamantra Jai Jape, Jai Jape. Whoever chants, Tare Krishna Upajaye Bhav. They awaken Bhav Krishna Bhav. This, this is gopi bhav. The Braja Bhav, the, the mood of the residents of Vrindavan, the Braja Prema is awakened by chanting Hare Krishna. This is Mahaprabhu's benediction on the fallen. Dinna hinna jotta chilo harinami udharilo tashaki jogai madhai. Acharya Ratna Prabhu was, was saying that, yes, we, we, we are proud to consider ourselves an example of the extreme mercy of Gornitanand. Dinna hinna jotta chilo. I cannot, I cannot even begin to, to explain to you the fallen condition we have come from. The fallen condition, the deep illusion. I was thinking when we went to Prabhupada's birthplace, that had he not appeared, we, we would not come to Krishna consciousness. We would not come to spiritual life. I was not interested in spiritual life. I was not interested. I was not looking for spiritual life. Hardly anyone in Australia is looking for spiritual life. <laughs> why, why do that? It's, it's such enjoyment. Hmm? Bharat Bhumi, I think, 1 billion, 400 million. 1 billion, 400. Australia is 20 million. Australia is bigger than India. 
That means for every one Australian person, there are 600 Indian people. 600. So could you imagine that if you had India just without so many people? That's the, the Kolkata, wonderful climate, but so many people. <laughs> Mumbai, we're going to Mumbai. Wonderful climate, so many people. Australia, did you imagine? 600 times less people. Every, every one per... Uh, 600 people in India, one person. You, know, so you, you, you can understand how much enjoyment you have. There's no such thing as traffic jam. I first saw when I first came to Kolkata, Ashal jam, Jotato jam. Jotato jam. So who would be interested? Boga shaya prashaktanam taya parita chetasam. Krishna explains in Gita, Bhoga Sharya, this enjoyment and wealth, prashaktanam, too much attachment to, too much dependence on. Bhoga Sharya prashaktanam, too much dependence upon sense enjoyment and wealth. Tai aparita cheta sam. Aparita cheta. Well, 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 it bewilders you. It bewilders you. You never think that there is any necessity of spiritual enlightenment it never ent the thought never enters your mind huh? your, your mind is too dull just like on the airplane now we fly budget huh? they don't give anything even if you have to beg for water get you jolled in extra <laughs> taka like me all the jokes will be in bengali On the airplane, the budget, they don't give anything in the old days, previous yuga. We would fly. We would fly and one thing after another they give you for sense enjoyment. On Indian airline they used to give mukshuti, mukshuti some sweet. On Emirates they give a towel, it's, it's warm, hot water and, and you can like this and and then it drinks apple juice orange juice conta pochonda karen apple juice but orange juice you get choice and then there's there's meals and then there's in-flight entertainment and then there's more drinks and then there's duty fee free one thing after another every 20 minutes there's something for your senses why is that hmm? so that the people can tolerate sitting in the cramped chair for four or five hours because they won't think they're suffering if you're giving something on their tongue. Or you're giving them a movie, or you're giving them some food or something. They, they'll forget their suffering. So this boga shaya prashaktanam taya parita chetasam. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. That's why they're giving so many things one after another. To keep you under control. To keep you absorbed in material enjoyment. Durashaya ye bahir artamanina, Sri Prahlad Maharaj explains. Durashaya, you take shelter of the material energy. Durashaya ye bahir artamanina, bahir, external energy, arta. It's very important, manina, their thinking. The material energy is very important. So as long as you're thinking like this, you, you, there's, no, there's no desire, there's no interest. No question. He asks the first thing. Although he was also living in great opulence. They were the social aristocratic leaders. Rupa and Shanatan. Mandala Pati Shanim. And they <coughs> lost interest. No, 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 no attachment. They were the prime minister and the finance minister. What opulence they enjoyed. Budva, they became dinagon for the fallen. Karunaya, out of mercy for the fallen conditioned soul. They gave up their opulence of regal enjoyment and accepted the loincloth of renunciation. Dinagon Kurunaya, out of mercy for the fallen souls. So, <clears throat> yes, the, the, I was thinking that, 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 that Prabhupada awakened our Krishna consciousness. It's, it's, it is extraordinary. And Prabhupada appeared here in Kolkata 
And, and we, yesterday we went to Prabhupada's birthplace. Janma Bhumi, Shri Prabhupada, Janma Bhumi ki? Yes. Iskon Kolkata ki? Prabhupada, Janma Bhumi. And then the other treasure, we went to, we went to uh, Uttadanga, Uttadanga Junction. Now this is very interesting. It, 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 it fascinates my mind. Because Prabhupada explains that Gauda Mohan Day was a pure devotee. Shuddha Bhakta, Shuddha Vaishnav, Gauda Mohan Day, Prabhupada's Baba. We were hearing, someone was saying, I think Shankar Shan Prabhu was saying, describing, a, he left, he departed a, in Prayag, he called the Gaudiya Mat, he gave a cow in charity and he fed the sannyasis in the Prayag, Gaudiya Mat, and then left his body, Gauda Mohan Day. And then there's that picture on the uh, Prabhupada, Lilam Rida Prabhupada with the shaven head and his family sitting there after the Prayag. As in Prayag. <coughs> so Prabhupada, it describes that Gaur Mohande, he would, at night time, he would get up, he would go to the, uh, the shop cloth merchant in uh, Harrison, Harrison Road, MG Road area. And in the evening he would come, he would do the puja of Radha Krishna. He would read Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and he would read Srimad Bhagavatam and he would chant on his Japamala. Perhaps he got the Diksha, perhaps he got Vaishnav Diksha from some Vaishnav. He was chanting on the Japamala, Gaur Mohande. So Prabhupada said he was pure devotee. And Prabhupada said that he, actually Gaur Mohande and that, 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 that aristocratic society, uh, Bengali Vaishnav society that Prabhupada appeared in, is, has a great influence on our movement. The style of worship, the, the, the bhajan that we sing, the, the, the bhajan the Prabhupada liked, that he heard in his childhood in Kolkata, in the Radha Govinda Mandir. And, and the style of worship, it, it, it impressed Prabhupada. The style of worship performed by Gaur Mohande, it impressed Prabhupada. And <clears throat> there is flavor, and of course Jagannath. I come to, I come to Ratha Yacha, Kolkata Ratha, because it's Prabhupada Ratha Yacha. Because Prabhupada's presence is very powerful. Prabhupada wants special things in, in, in Kolkata, his place of birth. Hmm? So Prabhupada's style of worship, it's, it's unique, that's unique. Is it, uh, Gaudiya, Gaudiya style, is, there's some differences. There's Gurvastika, Shangshara, Dabana, that's Prabhupada. In fact, in Prayag, it describes in the Lil Amrita that Prabhupada, even after the first meeting, with Shiran Sharshri Thakur, uh, then there was no, no, there was not other meeting. But Prabhupada had the books. He took the books from the Gaudiya Mat, and he it mentions that Prabhupada he taught his daughter, whose name was uh, Lakshmana, Laksh uh, Sri Lakshmana, his second child, the daughter, and uh, he taught her the Bengali translation of the Gurvastika when he was in Prayag. So already, that means already Prabhupada was absorbed in the Acharya's, Acharya Granto, and the writings of Vishnu Chakrati Thakur, the writings of Baladev Bidda Bhushan. Prabhupada was reading and studying these books published by his guru, Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur. Prabhupada is he's so learned in philosophy, but he never lived in the Brahmachari Ashram and studied from the guru in the Gurukula, like you are fortunate to do. We can study. Also, we are fortunate to study in the, in the Brahmachari Ashram and learn the Shastra. The Prabhupada, he, he was Grihastha, but he was learning the Shastra. He was studying the, uh, so many quotes, so many verses Prabhupada quotes. How he knows all these verses? <laughs> Even verses we've never heard of, Prabhupada quotes by memory. How is possible? As he, he liked the, he, Prabhupada liked the life of traveling in salesman for his... Uh, the day pharmaceuticals, his own company. He liked traveling and selling his product. He liked the life on the road. Hmm? He liked that. Without the family encumbrance. Hmm? And he would do his sadhana, he would chant, he would read the books of the Acharyas, read the books of his spiritual master. Prabhupada said that he learned everything about Radha Krishna worship from his father. And he learned about preaching from his guru the importance of preaching. 
even for, for our worship, originally Prabhupada told devotees to, you, you can learn from Gaudiya Mat, uh, the, the, the Abhishek and, and uh, the different uh, the, the Puja, Archana Mark, uh, Prabhupada, <coughs> because in Prabhupada's style, Prabhupada, he, he did this, 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 the, the songs that we sing, the worship of Lord Jagannath, is special to Prabhupada, special to Srila Prabhupada. However, we, we never hear, even though Prabhupada obviously extraordinary, Mahabhagavat, what is Prabhupada's, uh, who, who Prabhupada is, we, we don't, his, his orig, original Swarup, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't really matter to us, because he's Prabhupada. And, and for the next 10,000 years, in this form of Prabhupada, he will be the guru of the world and leading the world. So that doesn't matter. But we know that Prabhupada is some extraordinary, exalted Nitya Siddha, exalted Mahabhagavat. Otherwise, how it's possible? He could do even, even more than Chaitanya Mahabrabhu did when he was on the planet. Who spread, Mahabrabhu spread Nam Shankirtan in South India. Mahabrabhu personally preached in South India. Mahabrabhu, he delegated Bengal to Nitananda Prabhu. Nitananda Agye Dilo Jao Gauda Deshe, Ona Agol Prem Bhakti Koraho Prakashe. He ordered Nitananda, don't come to Puri every year, you stay in Bengal and distribute love of Godhead. And Brindavan, Rupa Sanatan, E Choi Go Shai, Jabe Brudja Koilabash, Radha Krishna Nitolila, Korila Prakash, the order, the order to develop Brindavan Dam, the Goshamis. Mahabhabhu is remaining in, in, in Jagannath Puri. <coughs> so, he, although Mahabhabhu said, Priti Bhiti Ache, Jota Nagaradi Gram, Shavatra Prachahoi Be Morana, my name will be spread all over the world, he could have done. He could have done. <laughs> Mahabrabhu could have toured the world. He could have done. But he didn't do that. So, he empowers such a special devotee. This is, this is incomparable achievement. It was not done before. It can never be done again. To spread the Sankirtan movement all over the world. It, it was not done before. For the universe, since the time of universal creation. <laughs> and it will never be done again. So that extraordinary achievement is special. This only by such a, antaranga bhakta, a special devotee, could achieve. This could be, someone said in the last few days, shaktave shavata. As, as powerful as Mahabrabhu himself. As powerful as Mahabrabhu himself. Huh? In spreading Krishna consciousness all over the world. But Prabhupada, we never hear, we never hear in, it, it described in his lila, in the childhood that, yes, one day I will become great Vaishnava and I will spread the Nam Sankirtan all over the world. But never hear, even in youth, Prabhupada went to Jagannath Puri and then Prabhupada took studies and then Prabhupada's wedding, his, his marriage, his, his business. He's his never mentioning there, he's always thinking about when he's going to spread the Krishna consciousness all over the world. He's not thinking like that. So, that, that, that's this, that, that was implanted in his mind by Siddhanta Sharshad Thakur. And that happened in Kolkata. How special the, 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 the servants of Iskon Kolkata are. Huh? The such special places. Now we're just thinking, ah, oh, Ulta Danga Road, ah, oh, Prabhupada Janma Bhumi. But in generations to come, these things, there will be, the, 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 the people, that you, the, this will be world famous. The world leaders, the leaders of the world, Executive leaders of the world will come to Kolkata to take the dust of Prabhupada's birthplace on their heads. And then to Ultadanga Road and roll in the dust where Shridhar Sri Thakur established the Gaudiya Mat and ordered his dear disciple, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Shami Prabhupada, to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. And then they will go to Mayapur. And take Ganga Shnan and fall down at the lotus feet of uh, at the lotus feet of Panchatatta in Mayapur, mm? and then go about their responsibility of le leading the world. Mm? We're building an airport in Mayapur. I re heard recently, but anyway, <coughs> still they will come for Calcutta, Bhumi Puja. 
So it is extraordinary. So and and here Kolkata, uh, as Shri Jayapataka Shami Maharaj was mentioning, Gormandal Bhumi, Jeeva Jane Chintamoni. So Prabhupada uh, Jayapataka Shami Maharaj mentioned this in the east, the Pundarik Dam. Gormandal Bhumi ends there. Pundarik Dam is the end of Bangladesh, just before Myanmar. Pundarik Dam, and then uh, the uh, Ramuna, hmm? the end of Gormandal Bhumi, and then Bihar. Bihar, Mahabrabhu, yes, he's Bihar, and then he mentioned that the Kolkata is included. Oh, Kolkata is included in Koramandal Bhumi. So fortunate, so uh, na naturally we have attraction to preaching Kolkata mm, because uh, that way such a fallen soul can, can, can hopefully, if he can, Bhakata Sheva Paramashiddhi. If we can assist the servants of Prabhupada in Calcutta, if we can offer some humble assistance to them, that is the highest perfection. Bhakata Sheva Paramashiti. So that's why I, I come to Calcutta. To associate Tadera Charana Shebi, Bhakta Shanebash, to associate with the dear Sevaks of Prabhupada in Calcutta, who are so dear to Prabhupada, who are doing a unique and, and gorgeous projects in Calcutta. How dear they are to Shri Prabhupada. So I come to take their association. And now Nitai Chand has appeared. Nitai Chand has appeared here in Iskon, Kolkata, Iskon Newton. Is Mindu Park. We have Gauranga, Radha Govinda, Gauranga, Srimam Mahabrabhu, but Nitananda, Nitai, Nitananda, Goshai, Nitai Goshai Kothai. Nitai Chand, Newton Ayachin. Abnada Shekani Jitahoi. Nitai Chand, Newton Ayachin. So we were discussing about Mahaprabhu's sannyas. It's important, Nityananda's presence is so, is so special. Mahaprabhu suddenly took sannyas because the, the students and the acad academics, the scholars and the smartas, the shaktas in Navadip and the atheists in Navadip. Even though Sachinanda Navadip Dhamme, he, he, he appeared hmm, and he performed his pastimes. A shikha near shab nadiya fichin neche, go nitai, go nitai, fichin neche. They're so beautiful, the, the design of these deities. They're so intoxicated in love of Godhead. They're dancing wildly. Hmm? Kirtan, hmm. Kirtan korite prabhu, shava babu doi, stamba kamba pulak asho god gada pralai at Shantipur. Kaviraj Goswami is explaining, when he hears the kirtan, Gauranga, when he hears the kirtan, kirtan korite prabhu sharva bhav udoi. All of the emotions of love of God, they awaken, they manifest. Sava bhav udoi. Stamba, kampa, pulak asru gadgara pralai. Stamba, he becomes, he becomes like a pillar. Stamba, in the kirtan. Stamba, kampa, he's, he's quivering, his body is quivering. Preme dala dala shona da anga chodane nupura bha jay preme dala dala is is kampa kampa shru his body is quivering and love pulaka shru his hair is standing on end gadgada his voice is choking up and rolling on the ground go to anga and pralai pralai means devastated <laughs> I'm not sure what devastated looks like but Dev Mahabhu is devastated in the kirtan. So when I see Gochandra here dancing, he's such a wild, he's in such intoxicated. In Prema, Prema Besh, intoxicated. Just by coming and seeing, you, you, you become, you become, you swoon in love of Godhead. We have to make room in the temple room here for rolling on the ground. <laughs> How can we not roll on the ground in love of Godhead, seeing the Gochandra dancing? So Nit Nitai Goshai Mahabrabhu suddenly took sannyas suddenly took sannyas. That story we can hear another time. He suddenly took sannyas. But it was intolerable for the Navadip Bhashi. Main Leela. Main Leela is Navadip Leela. Chobbish Bochur. 24 years Navadip. Chaitanya Bhagavat is Adi Khanda, Madha Khanda, Shesh Khanda is the full authorized biography of Chaitanya Mahababu, written by the same author of Srimad Bhagavatam. Krishna Leela Bhagavate Kohe Bed Bhyas, Chaitanya Leela Bhyas Brindabondas. 
Srila Kaviraj Goswami explains that uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur, Sri, Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad, that is the mm, s standard text on the life of Chaitanya Mahababhu. And, Brinda, and Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he explains that he is simply complementing uh, where there is, uh, where Vrindavan Das Thakur has not described in detail, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami describes in detail. <clears throat> and for that reason, the Sheshkanda of Chaitanya Bhagavat, which is ten chapters, which is from the time Mahabrabhu took sannyas to, the, to his departure, ten chapters of Chaitanya Bhagavat, that is described in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita in almost fifty chapters. That is Madhulila and Antulila of Chaitanya Charitamrita. So in this way we see the both works combined give you the complete picture of Chaitanya Mahabrabhu's pastimes. <clears throat> but half of Mahaprabhu's pastimes were performed in Navadip. 24 years, Chobbish Gunta. And then the remaining 24 years, Chad, Taramode, Choi Bachur, Gamon Agamon, Kabu Dokin, Kabu Gaur, Kabu Brindabon. The remaining 24 years, six years, was preaching. Kabu Dokin, South, South India. Kabu Gold, Mahaprabhu Ram Kelly tour. Kabu Brindabon, Mahaprabhu's actual visit to Vrindavan, delivering Rupa and Sanatan. <clears throat> so this Navadip Lila, you could imagine, Mahabrabhu, the childhood pastimes. Adi Konda Kota, Jai Amrit Shrabon, Jai Shishurupe Kridakore Narayan. As a child, he's playing in Navadip. The, 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 the devotees, the Navadip Bashis, they do not think he's Krishna. When Jagannath Mishra, he sees on the, on the floor, of the cottage, the clay floor. He sees the, the marks which only appear on the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the flag, fish, the head of grain, the, the other symbolic auspicious signs only found on the lotus feet of the Lord. He sees all over the, he sees all over the cottage, the floor, mati. There's a mati. It's not cement. There's mati. And, and every day Shachimata would put the gobur and, and purify their cottage. So they're seeing. He calls, he calls Nimai, bring my book. Just as Nanda Dulal, he calls, uh, uh, he, he, sorry, is that Nanda Baba, he calls Nanda Dula, he says, bring my chopal. And Nanda Dula comes running with a chopal. Hmm? So same, that, that, that Nanda Baba, he is Jagannath Mishra. But now he's not a he's not a cowherd man of Braj. Now he's a, a, a aristocratic Brahmin of Navadip. Navadipe Chato Dik Hoite Lok Navadipe Jai Navadipe Porileshe Biddha Rosh Pai. All over from all over the world they would come to Navadip. Chato Dik Hoite Lok Navadipe Jai from all over India. They're coming to Navadip. Navadipe Poriyale She Bidarosh Pai. Because in Navadip you study, you get taste for learning. And Jagannath Mishra, he was aristocratic uh, lineage of Brahmins in, in Navadip. Hmm? He wasn't a cowherd man. But it's the same Nanda Baba. Oh, Bhagdabrinda, just try to understand. The Gaur Modu Lila. The same Nanda Baba. But he doesn't remember. <laughs> he says, Bring my book. Sachinanda and Rans, very happy, comes, brings the book. And they're hearing the sound of the ankle bells as he's coming, coming and going. He's looking from where the sound of ankle bells have come. Our child are not wearing ankle bells. It's astonishing. The Brahman, Brahmani, child, they're looking everywhere. Where are the sound coming from? And then inside the house, they see the footprints of the Lord all through the house. He's astonished. He falls down on the ground. He pays obeisances to those footprints. And he turns to Sachimata. He says, Debi, this is our last birth. Certainly we will be liberated. The Shalagram Shila, so pleased with our Seva, is coming down at night from the altar and wandering around the house. And as he say, and he says, Tomorrow do special Abhishek, Pancha Gobbo. Pancha Gobbo. The five items from the cow. Abhishek. Hmm? Tomorrow, special Panchagobba Abhishek of Shalagram Shila. 
Uh, our deity is so special, so so empowered. He, and 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 Gauranga is stand, is sitting listening to his father smiling. He's Nanda Baba, and Nanda Dulal is there, but he doesn't think that such Nanda is God. And he's doing the puja the next day, and 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 such Nanda is sitting smiling with his father. I do not know. They do not know it. And e even in a dream, one Brahmin. When Brahman appeared in a dream and said to Jagannath Mishra that, that Thakur, it's inappropriate for you to chastise your son. He is the emblem of all knowledge. He, he needs no education from you. You, you. you should not correct it, your son. He is non-different from Lord Narayan. In a dream, imagine a dream like that. You have dreams like that? No, our dreams are... <coughs> Illusion. Madness. Prabhupada describes in Bhagavatam second canto, you, you dream of a gold mountain. Hmm? But there is no gold mountain. But there is gold and there is a mountain. In your mind, in dreaming, everything is madness. <laughs> but Mahabra, Jagannath Misha had dreamed the Brahmin speaking to him. Your son is the Supreme Lord. And in the dream, Jagannath Misha replies, Misha bole, Misha kohe, Deb shithi munik eni noi, Jai she bodo hok matro amar tanoi. He says that, he says that, yes, Deb Shiddhi Muni Keninoi. Maybe he's a Muni. Maybe a great Rishi. Maybe a perfected being. Maybe even Deb. Maybe even a demigod or the Supreme Lord himself. Jai Shei Boro Hok. No matter how extraordinary he might be. Matro Amar Tanai. As far as I'm concerned, he's my son. <clears throat> and as his father, it's my responsibility to correct him and give him an education. So just see these pastimes. And Nimai is causing such trouble in Navadip. Navadipe shampoti ke bone bare pare ek ganga ghate loka lok snan kore. In one ghat, according to Brindavan Rashtako, ek ganga ghate loka lok snan kore. A hundred thousand people are bathing in one ghat. Navadip. Navadipe shampoti. This is the opulence of Navadip Dham. <coughs> and the ghat, the Navadip ghat. That's where Sachinandan enjoyed his Ganga Jal Kela every day, many hours. He would be in the Ganga. He was a very powerful swimmer. Sometimes they would swim across and come back. But don't, don't say that Atul Krishna Prabhu encouraged us to swim across Ganga. <laughs> only, only, the, only foreigners can do that. <clears throat> because in India, people can't swim, they keep their head out of the water and they think that's swimming. Have to put your head under the water, then you can swim, mm. breathe, <clears throat> freestyle. Mm. Australian, you know, we can swim, we can play cricket too. <laughs> <clears throat> he would disturb the Brahmins. They couldn't take their bath. They would have to take bath several times. And one Brahmin would be in the, in, the, in the Ganga chanting Gayatri, mm. and and Gochandra would come under what grab his feet and pull him under the water. Another guy, another Brahmin meditating, Gorchanda would come, he would spit in his face, Ganga Jal. And he would say, Who are you meditating upon? Meditate on me. I am the you I am the avatar for the age. <laughs> and he would come out, he would steal the puja paraphernalia, steal the Shibalinga, steal the Bhagavad Gita, hide it somewhere. The the Brahman would set up the puja. He had everything ready, the the, the flowers, the chandan, the ma mala, hmm? the bhoga. He would take his bath and Lord Vishnu would be sitting there and then Nimai would come, he would sit on the altar, he would eat the, the boga, <laughs> put the flower garland on, take the chandan, put it on him and look in the water at that Brahman and laugh. Ah and say, the, puja udesha punnoheche. the object of your puja has been completed. I am satisfied. <laughs> and he, he did not even spare the komaris. The Komaris, the unmarried Brahmin girls of, of Navadeep, they're also bathing. Loki Devi, Sachi Mata, she noticed that Loki Devi, she would take bath in Ma Ganga every day three times. Just consider her purity. So the, 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 the Brahmin, the, the, the Komaris, the, 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 the daughters of the Brahmins of Navadeep, Mahabrabhu would also disturb them. They would come to worship the demigods. And he would steal the offerings, he would, he would, he would put fruit in their hair, throw stand, sand on them. Mm? <coughs> uh, 
And then he would say, what is that? that uh, <clears throat> Ama puja koro, ami devo bhar, ganga, uh, ganga, uh, ami devo bhar, you worship me, I will give you benediction. Durga, Ganga Durga Dashi Mor Mahesh Kinkar. Amar Puja Koro, Ami Devobar, Ganga Durga Dashi Mor Mahesh Kinkar. That you worship me. They come to worship Ganga, worship Ma Durga, worship Mahadev. He says, he takes the offerings, he says to them, Do worship me, I will give you benediction. And then they go and complain to, to Sachimata. He's, so that same instruction, Ganga Durga Dashi Mor Mahesh Kinka, that same instruction on the chariot that <coughs> Basudev Krishna imparts to Arjun, Mata Parataram Nanat Kinchirashti Dananjaya, there's nothing superior to me. <coughs> Man Mana, Bhava Mad Bhakta, Mad Yaji, think of me. Uh, bow down to me, worship me, mam namas guru. That same order that he declares, mam ekasharana, mam ekasharana. The same order in Sanskrit basha that he declares on the chariot to Arjun and to all of the exalted rishis and, uh, and world leaders who were present at Kurukshetra, they also heard, and all humanity. Basudev Krishna, he declares on the chariot, I am the supreme. Huh? Aham sarvasya prabhava. Everything comes from me. Matap saram prabhava today. I am the source of everything. That same principle, that same instruction. Asachinandan, he's three, four years old. And he says to those girls, Ama puja koro, ami devobar, ganga durga dashimor mahesh kinkar. And they're laughing. Oh, you the child. Just see Gauranga modur lila. The same instruction, he, as a child, he's imparting to the young girls, and they're all laughing. Oh, what are you saying, Sachinandan? But it's true. Just see Gormodu Lila. <clears throat> so when they all went and complained, they all gathered together and complained because one person comes, easy to dismiss. When there's 25 Brahmins sta sta standing in your courtyard making complaints, <laughs> it's a serious matter. Jagannath Mishra is very disturbed. And they're all explaining how he's, that we can't take bath. Your, your, your Jagannath Sutta. We have to take bath three, four times every day. This is not acceptable. And then the girls, they don't like, they're all complaining to Sachimata. They, they, they took the dust from her lotus feet. And then they went and then Jagannath Mishra, he's there now, Jagannath Mishra, he takes a stick. He's, he's going down the bank, going up and down the bank of the Ganga. Nimai Kotai! Nimai Kotai! And then his friends, they said, here, uh, Baba, Nimai hasn't come today. What? They all just came. How is this? And he went back and he's confused. And then Nimai comes on the path. Just imagine that Sandy, it's not like now with auto rickshaw, bam, bam, and buses. It's not like that. It was sandy paths and, and, and the coconut trees and the breeze of the Ganga. There are no buildings. This is cottages, the breeze of the Ganga. Whoosh. As Nimai in the midday is walking back from studies with the ink on his, on his body, gold Anga, with the blotches of ink. Brindavan Das Thakur says, like a Shonar Champa. Another reason I come for Iskon Kolkata Ratha Jatra is to, uh, uh, to smell the Shonar Champa. You know, Shonar Champa, golden Champa at that, at that time of the year. Shonar Champa. <coughs> Brindavanas Thakur says, like Shona Champa. Shona Champa, you know? A golden Shona Champa is a one, two months of the year is a, available. So, so fragrant. He says, like Shona Champa surrounded by bumblebees. Bzzz. He looked gold anger with the ink on his body and, and on his cloth. And Jagannath Mr. Sachimata, they're looking. Uh, even, even the Brahmins, they came and they said that that they came back, they said, actually, we don't mind. We don't mind that he's disturbing us in this way because we know he's the Supreme Lord. <laughs> we know he's the Supreme Lord. But 
they come, they say that to Jagannath Mishra. Jagannath Mishra, they, he, he, he sees Sachi, he sees Sachi Nandan coming on the path. He, he looks at his wife and says, well, how is this? The boy has not even been to the Ganga. All the symptoms of, of, of the soiled study is still on his, he hasn't even been to the Ganga. Although these Brahmins came and they made such complaints, so many of them, how could that be fabricated case? It's, it must be true. How is it that this boy, he has some mystic power? How is he? He hasn't even, he says, Ma, tell thou, Ma, Ganga, Shnan Kote Jai. Tell thou, he hasn't even been to Ganga. He's astonished. And, and Nimoy goes to Ganga as, as Jagannath Mishra, he's thinking in this way, how is this possible? And just at that moment, Sachinandan returns from Ganga, he comes, he sees Jagannath Mishra, he runs, he climbs on his lap, he embraces him. You like to have Sachinandan climb on your lap and embrace you? You like to have that? Imagine? Enjoy? Putra Darsh Anande Guchilo Bichar. Shneha punno hoilo duha kichunahi ar. Putra darshanande, the bliss of seeing his son. Guchilo bichar, he forgot everything about the Ganga, about the punishment, about the complaints. He forgot everything seeing his son. Guchilo bichar, shneha punno hoilo duha kichunahi ar. Only his affection, the shneha punno hoilo duha, this Sachim Mata Jagannath Mishra, only affection. Kichu nahi ar. There's so much love. This is called Radmag Bhakti. That's why he forgets about Brindavan. How could you forget? <laughs> Krishna, Krishna, Krishna is your son in Brindavan. He's killing the demons, Nanda Baba, Maja Soda. They go to the bank of, the, uh, bank of Jamuna, they see Krishna dancing on Kaliya. You think you can, can forget that? How he forgets? Shneha ponno hoilo duha kichu nahi ar. There's so much a love that he's thinking, I am the father of this boy, he's my son, we are Navadip Brahmins. Because Sachinandan, he wants that. He wants that he can play these pastimes. So if he's, if he's thinking, you're God, yeah, I said, my son, he's God. Let him do what he likes. There's no anand, there's no, no lila anand. If he forgets, he's thinking he's my child. So just imagine these Navadip Basis when Sachinandan took sannyas. Jagannath Nusha he didn't see. He never even saw the marriage. He already left. But the Navadip Basis, Adwaita Thakur, Shibash Thakur, Gadadha Pandit, Prakti Purushatam Sami Maharaj, gave us such a gem we'd never heard before. He explained Gadadha Pandit that in, in Braj, Sri Radhika, she cannot associate with Nanda Dula all the time. It's forbidden. Occasionally, there's Gupta, there's secret meeting. So when he appears in, in the form of Gadadha Pandit, and Nimoy says, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? And Krishna is in your heart. He's beginning to tear open his chest. And Gadadha Pandit says, no, 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 Krishna, just now coming. Just now coming. Ah. Sachinanda, he's appeased. And then Sachimata sees the intelligence of Gadadha Pandit. She did this boy. She says, you stay with Nimoy all the time. So, God, so Sri Radhika, she's with Mahabrabhu all the time, is Gadadha Pandit. <coughs> Golila, Gadadha Pandit. And then you can hear the description, Gadadha Pandit, he went. <coughs> when Mahabrabhu took sannyas, he went to Jagannath Puri, he was staying there. When Mahabrabhu left to return to Bengal, Gadadha Pandit is coming. Mahabhabhu is saying, do not do this. You're breaking your vow of Ketra Sanyas. You're giving up the service of Gopinath. This is painful to me. Uh, let my vow go to hell. Wherever you are, that is Gopinath. No, you go back. You give this up. No, I'm not going with you. I'm going on my own. I have my own program. I'm going to Navadip, see Sachimata. I don't know what you're doing. You give this up. He, he left. He forced him to stay. Mahabhabhu got in the boat. No boat for Gadadha Pandit. Mahabhabhu <laughs> got in the boat and went. And Gadadha Pandit, no boat. He's there. He collapsed. Unconscious. <clears throat> you collapse unconscious when the Guru leaves? No. We don't have that much love. Huh? So the Navadip Basis, it was too much. Sachimata, it was too much. Mahabhabhu suddenly took sannyas. Suddenly. Suddenly took sannyas. 
So Nitai Goshai, devotee care. <laughs> he arranged, he told the cowherd boys on the banks of the Ganga, when they when that sannyasi, Gaudanga, the tall figure, seven foot tall, with his arms stretching down to his knees, the, the, the shimmering golden figure in the, in the bright Arun, or the, 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 the sun, the color of the rising sun, reddish cloth. When he asks you, where is Vrindavan, where is Jamuna, you point him in the direction of Ganga. So they came, Mahabhava's there, where is Jamuna? Ah, oh, here, Jamuna. Mahabhava jumps in, he's praying to glories of Jamuna, he's floating down, he's thinking he's in Vrindavan. He comes to Shantipur, Advaita Thakur is standing on the bank. Oh, Thakur, you've come to Vrindavan. Oh. Wherever you are, that is Vrindavan. What? This is Shantipur. What? Nityananda has cheated me. No, no, no. This is Jamuna. Jamuna is flowing on the west side of, of Ganga. He has not cheated you. So he came to Shantipur and then all the devotees, from the, in fact, all of the Shantipur Vasis, they came well, they, they, to Advaita Thakur's home for seeing the Gauranga, who had just taken sannyas. You, you, you like to see Gauranga? Here is uh, Grihastha, uh, <coughs> Navadip <coughs> Shiromani, Navadip Chandra, Dijamani, the crest jewel of the Navadip Brahmins we are worshipping. And then he takes sannyas. Sannyasa krik shamaha shanta nishti shanti parayanaha suvarna varna he mango varandas chandan angadi his golden form anointed with the chandan uh, the shaven head of a sannyasi uh, for, <coughs> boldly preaching the Nam Shankirtan all over India. Shanyasha Kriksha Shamaha Shanta Nishta Shanti Parayana They all came to see Godanga in, as a sannyasi. So all of the <coughs> Shantipur residents were there and all of the Navadi Basis came. All of the men, all of the ladies, all of the elderly, all of the children. They all came to Shantipur and Adwaita Thakur, he hosted he hosted all of the Shantipur <coughs> community and all of the Navadip Basis. He fed them and accommodated them <laughs> for 10 days. <coughs> and then they bought Sachimata on a palanquin. Now, if when you go to Ultadanga Road and you go in the uh, VIP guest room, which I was fortunate to be uh, offered some, some uh, facility to sit and take rest in for <coughs> some time yesterday, You'll see on the wall there is the picture of Sachimata meeting Goranga in Shantipur. Next time you go, you look for that picture. It's a unique picture. Ultadanga in the guest, the VIP guest room. And you'll see Sachimata is there and Goranga is sannyasi, Ekadanda sannyasi. Ekadanda sannyasi. And Sachimata is there and uh, he's on her lap. She's crying. Her tears are, 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 are drenching his body. Ishan Thakur is standing behind there. You can see that painting. And then the kirtan was performed for 10 days, kirtan in Shantipur. And the devotees were somewhat appeased. All day there was uh, discussion, Adraita Thakur, Mahaprabhu, other Vaishnavas, Bhagavat Kota in the day, and then Prashadam. And then in the evening, Shondai Belai, the kirtan Arambo Hayeche. And then the, I, the, the, those, that, that verse of Kaviraj Goswami, Kirtan Korite Prabhu, would you like to see those Kirtans at Shantipur? Yeah. All the Navadeep Basis, they came, <coughs> they knew that <coughs> he will go, we, will, we may not never see him again. <coughs> they knew. At least we can dance with him now. You, you, can you imagine those Kirtans in Shantipur? Kirtan Korite Prabhu, Sharva Babu Doi, Shtamba Gada Polakasra Gad Gada Pralai, all night. Kirtan in the house of Advaita Thakur. <coughs> and then Sachimata explained that you, you Prabhus, you can, you can see him. You can. The first thing she said was, do, do, do not do like Visharup. Do not do like Visharup. When Jagannath Misra and Sachimata, the first they just uttered the words, hmm, look at this Visharup, he's 16, he's 17. Now we should start consider his, considering his marriage. Vishurupi heard that. Next day he was gone. Next day he was, and no one ever heard anything about him again. Vishurup Sanyas, a whole chapter in Vrindavan Thakur. <laughs> Chaitanya Bhagavad, a whole chapter of Vishurup Sanyas. Jagannath Nisra and Sachimara simply wandering around 
for days, simply chanting Bisharup, Bisharup, oh Bisharup, constantly for days. And Sachi, Sachi Nandan, he fell unconscious. <clears throat> so Sachi Mata said, do not do like Visharup. So then Mahaprabhu said that suddenly I have taken sannyas. This is all Nitai Kripa. That's my point here today. This is Nitai Kripa. Mahaprabhu, he was gone. But Nitananda Prabhu, he brought him back. And Nitan the same. Hey, Dui John. Param Korona Pahu Dui John. Mahaprabhu had gone. He'd gone, sannyasi. It mentions the sannyasi cannot return to his place of birth. Surrounded by family members. It's forbidden, sannyas dharma. So what to do? Nitai, nitai goshai. Shantipur, you stay. You, you come and all the, everyone came. He didn't go back to Navadip. Shantipur. And then Nitananda sent word, all the Navadip Basis come. Nitai gold, pahu dui jon. Param Kuruna. And then they asked Sachi Ma Mahaprabhu, then he said, he said, he wasn't saying like this before. He was already gone. He was gone to, with Keshav Bharati. They were going to Brindavan in the forest. And he saw the cowherd boys. They brought him to Shantipur. And then Mahaprabhu said, that I, I, what have I done? What have I done? Suddenly I've accepted this sannyas, ashram. But I cannot give you up. Go to, go to Hoite Bhakta, gone. I cannot give you up. Hmm? So make some arrangement where I will not be criticized for staying, remaining with family, friends at home, but I can maintain the vows of sannyas. Sachimata is there, Sachimata says that Jagannath Puri and Mayapur are like two rooms in the same house. You can all go, you will go see the darshan of Jagannath Shami. And maybe, and, and, and the Puri Bhashis, they will come to take Ganga Shnan, and he also may come on occasion to take bath in Maganga. And he did, before leaving Puri, he, he, he appeals to Savabhama Bhattacharya, Ramananda Roy, Go to Hoite Mor, Dumi Shamashrai, Janani Janobi, E Dui Doyamoy. I want to go to Bengal to take bath in Ganga and see my mother. So I will go to Brindavan via Bengal. Go to Hoite Mor Dui Shamasrai Janani Janobhi E Dui Doyamoy. My mother and Ma Ganga are very merciful. Nitai Kripa. He decides to go to Brinda, to go to Jagannath Puri in Shantipur. He was brought to Shantipur by Nitai Goshai. And then it goes on and on and on. We can spend hours explaining, describing the the, the facilitation of Nitananda Prabhu. How he's serving Mahaprabhu and, and, and serving devotees and, and how he's facilitating the bhav bhakti of uh, Mahaprabhu Bhaktagon and Mahaprabhu, Shang, Mahaprabhu Shange. So I'm so, so uh, overjoyed to be able to come and take darshan of Nitai, Go, Nitai Chant and Nitai Go Chant here in Iskon New Town. And I pray that I can come again and again and perform Shankirtan in, in, for their pleasure and the association of their dear se se sevaks. Hare Krishna. Is there a question? In the, in, in, Prabhupada would take questions in the class on Srimad Bhagavatam. It's gone noon town, we have to follow all the standard <laughs> for generations to come. Yes. So, so we see that uh, in, in the past times of Sri Satan Mahaprabhu, God and Devan, they were there. Uh, immediate love of God was was given. Immediately, one would get love of God. So, so what is what is lacking that now Nitai Goranga has come here? We don't experience immediate. Transformation of our heart and in Nimai Anand, nothing is lacking. This is only humility. In Nimai Anand, nothing is lacking. Mm. 
nothing is lacking. I'm coming to serve you, to associate with you, to, to get a drop of that bhakti that you have. And that is your humility. You've given your life. This is <coughs> Prabhupada making it very easy. <coughs> Just like a, you, 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 just like a, a, a tulsi plant, you put one, and then you'll see after a few months many, many tulsi plants. So here, new, it's gone new town, but <coughs> we'll see then so many more centers, small centers, bhakti brika, namhata, so many <coughs> will all here grow. <coughs> so much opportunity for seva. So much opportunity. That, that is a mukta, mukti, mukti upai. You, you give your life for this sankirtan movement. There's nothing lacking. Maybe a little bit of little bit here and there. That's just spots on the moon. Spots on the moon. The moon is not perfectly white. It's not perfectly white. You look even on the Chandra Chandra Udai, the full moon. Punim. Punima. This a few days ago, big big Punima. Madhavendra Puri Prabhupada Avibhav and another another uh Shunivasha Charja, the previous last full moon, has big, big full moon. There, even on the full moon, there are some marks. But it can illuminate the dark sky. It can illuminate the one, only one, one brilliant moon is enough. Illuminate the dark sky. So, a few little things here and there, Nimai Anand. But uh, <clears throat> you are like full moon. Koti Gyani Modhe Ek John Mukta In ten, ten, Koti Gyani Koti, ten, hundred thousand Koti, Koti A hundred lakhs Yeah, t t t ten million Koti Gyani Modhe Hoi Ek John Mukta In ten million Gyanis, there's one liberated Koti Mukti Modhe Dulab Ek Krishna Bhakta In ten million liberated souls It's rare to find one devotee of Krishna Mahaprabhu says. So how, what Prabhupada has done, in so many, and so many new devotees here I think, so many new devotees, there's all these new men, it, it is, it is, nothing can stop this. This it is, it is, <coughs> it's an, a nature of the soul, is awakened. Love of God, you cannot stop this morning, you young men, so dancing, you cannot stop. <coughs> Who can stand there during the kirtan? When is this going to finish? You cannot, because the soul, the soul, is natural constitutional activity susukam kartum. <clears throat> so you come part, you become part of this preaching mission. It's not difficult. It's easy. Mahaprabhu's desire is Krishna consciousness spread everywhere. So you try to serve that. You try to give your life for that. You become Mahaprabhu Bhakta. You become Mahaprabhu Gon. Mahaprabhu Shabok. You become Mahaprabhu's man through preaching Krishna consciousness. And that's it. That's our path. That is the, uh, but such rare, Koti Gyani Modde Hoi Ek John Krishna Bhakta. But so many Krishna Bhaktas, so many Krishna Bhaktas, how fortunate we are in Iskon New Town, how fortunate we are in Iskon. Prabhupada Ki. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna Prabhu, just take my humble obeisance. Hare Krishna Prabhu. My question is that uh, you just said uh, sannyasis are prohibited to return. Just to hold the mic near your mouth without the hand in the way. So he didn't return. That, that, that was the Mahabrabhu, <coughs> Mahabrabhu taking, having taken sannyas, he never returned to Mayapur. Mahaprabhu never returned to Mayapur. Never. Never. <clears throat> he, on several occasions, he went to Shantipur. And he went to the other side of Ganga, Biddhanagar, Kola Deep, uh, as he traveled to Ramkeli and came back on the other side of Ganga. There's Biddhanagar, Kola Deep, these places in Navadeep he visited. All the devotees from Navadeep, they crossed the Ganga at that time. And then he, in Shantipur, he remained several times. He remained <clears throat> when he came back after Sanyas Shantipur, and then four years later, again he came to Bengal, again Shantipur, 
and then Ram Kelly, and then coming back again Shantipur. At that time, Raghunath Das came and spent one week in Shantipur. So not in Mayapur, in Shantipur. Shantipur is a special place. Shantipur is a special place. For these reasons, Mahaprabhu's emotions there, his the association with the Navadip <coughs> Bhaktas. Prabhupada, as a Grihasta, he would many times visit Shantipur and chant. Prabhupada even was considering making his own world head or headquarters in Shantipur for some time. So this all happened in Shantipur, not Mayapur. House of Advaita Thakur. The House of Advaita Thakur. Thank you all very much. Shri Prabhupada ki Shama Beta Gopakta Vrinda ki Jai Shishi Nitai Goshita Nath Brahmanandi Hari Hari Bo. This is Adul Krishna Prabhu ki